Hi, this is Joe Chambers. Welcome to Musicians Hall of Fame Backstage of the Vault Series. This interview was one of the first ones we did. It was somewhere around 2005. I drove down to Mississippi to, to meet up my friend Eddie Willis, funk brother, and twofold. It was to pick up his guitars that we still have here on exhibit and also to do an interview with Eddie. And during the interview, Eddie talked about the, one of the scenes in the Stand in the Shadows of Motown movie where as a young child, being very poor, having to make his own musical instrument of some kind, he just liked to hear some kind of a, of a musical sound. So when a broom got wore out, he could take the, the, the wire that wrapped the straw onto the, onto the broom handle and two nails, nailed them on the side of the house, tightened the wire around both nails, got a, got a Coke bottle, and slid it up and down and played slide guitar on the side of the house. And actually, it would reverberate kind of loud. So that's how Eddie got started as a young child. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. Once again, Funk Brother, Eddie Willis. Yeah, yeah, I did this. Ding, boom, boom. Do, da, do, da. That was attempts. When I was probably about nine, I was taught how to build a guitar on a, on a, on the wall of a house with one string. And I learned how to play it. Uh, there were older guys taught me how to play this one string playing blues, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I started listening to Chet Atkins, man, of uh, B.B. King, Albert King, uh, just any, whoever played guitar, you know, I, I stayed up under the radio and I would listen to these guys. I really wanted to learn so bad. And on this, on this one string guitar that's attached to the, the, the house, I, on, one, on that one string, I learned how to play a lot of blues, man. I mean, a lot of blues, you know, it, it's unbelievable. And when, when, when uh, my aunties who did raise me, her husband bought the family a guitar, and it was so many in the darn family because she had her family, he had his family when they got married, and, and we didn't have a one guitar, so the bigger guys had the guitar more than the little guys because, you know, if the get, big guys had it, well, we had no chance, you know. So anyway, when, whenever there's one got tired of it, they, you know, they aimed to lay it down where well, they never did lay it down because Somebody, one of the younger kids would pick it up, you know, and I learned from that. I learned, oh, was I happy to get that guitar, you know, and looking at the bigger guys, you know, like they were playing a little blues thing, you know, and I, I couldn't wait to just, just let me try it. Let me try it because I really wanted to bad, so very bad, you know, and the stuff starts sticking, you know, it really did start sticking. I couldn't read a note. I didn't know a note. <laughs> I had never seen a note. Did you ever have uh, formal lessons of any kind? In Michigan. Yeah, in Michigan. And how yeah. were you when that started? Then, well, that's the, oh, wow, I was, oh, 17. Mm -hmm. yeah. It started in high school. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I started, uh, but, I got uh, in the band. Until that point, though, you had just played by ear yeah, on your own. Yeah, playing by ear, man, you know. And on, on that, what, what kind of string did you use when you made that guitar? You nailed it on the side of the house. Yeah. And I guess the house <laughs> made it re reverberate pretty loud on, on a big wall like that, right? Yeah. It well, was it was a it was a string of a, a string of wire, you know, like some days back, and they had you know they had these, these uh, this wire uh, wrapped around brooms. Yeah, yeah. You see, you don't get that no more. But this wire was wrapped around the broom, you know, where it's keeping all that stuff yeah. tight, you know. And and if there were a broom worn out, you know, where they wouldn't use it anymore, we took that wire off of there and. And, and build, you know, build us a guitar. Did you take like a nail and nail yeah. it in? On? What you had to do, you you would have to, you have to, you had two positions, you know, one at the top, one at the bottom. Right. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it really had to be in that well, you right. know, because otherwise, okay, when you get ready to put that, that bottle in the bottom of it to get your sound. Kind you of know, a bridge? Like? Yeah, like mm -hmm. a bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you take in your hand, you're like this, and you just keep tapping it down lightly. You know, because sometimes the bottle breaks. Right. It's called what kind of bottle you got. Right. Now, if you had one of those old big Coke bottles in those days, you know, yeah. it wasn't no longer than that. Yeah. And if you had one of those, it wasn't going to break. Right. You know, so you push it down in there until you get whatever tone you wanted, you know, and 
It, it, it was, so that's kind of how you tuned it, was how far you pushed it yeah, down to the nail. That was the tuner. That's cool. Now, and so how did you play it with a slide? You had to have another bottle. You, you, get, you found, you, you try to find a bottle in, in, your, in your mother's kitchen, you know, like something like a, a flavor bottle. A bottle. Yeah. A, you know, something about like, you know. No, I didn't, you, you, you mean said, like a vanilla flavor? Vanilla bottle? flavor yeah. bottle, like you said, a slide. You know, it wouldn't be no bigger than that, you yeah. know. And you, you, you hit your note, man. It, I mean, it sound, it sounded off. Whatever hand you could use, but I, I was right, you know, I was right handed, you know, because I had to move this hand and, you know, I, I did have the technique and the feel of it. All right. Did you have it going horizontal? No. I mean, horizontal flat. or flat? Flat. Yeah. Okay. So you could just, just like, almost like if you were playing a pedal steel. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but now if you set it up on the edge wise, yeah. you get some good sound then. Sit, yeah. sit, you know, well, we learned that. Yeah. Sit it up on the edge wise and it, it, it sound came through, man. And, so you could, you know, I mean, you could do that today then, right? That's exactly, I did that, man, over there on the, on the old house where it used to be. Uh, that's why we went and filmed it on the house, old, old ragged. Well, they, I didn't tore it down now since, since that film we did. Uh, we put one on that house. Yeah. And uh, you can do it anywhere. It's, it's too bad we didn't have the, the thought and the brain to say, well, I can put me two or three strands of wire up here. Yeah, you know? yeah. It, but I, I wasn't taught that way by older people. You know, that would be really cool to recreate that now and, and record it on something. Um, it, it could work. It could work very well. Especially with a big, big, thick wire like that, yes. you know? Yes, it, it, it definitely could work now. Right now, it, would be, it wouldn't be out of date. It would be fine. We may have to try that someday. <laughs> yeah, you know, because then I, when, uh, after we got finished over there filming the thing, uh, I, I came back here at my house and I got me a, a board, you know, and I, I, I just you know, bore about about that long, and uh, uh -huh. you know, I don't know how wide it was. It was a, what you say a plank. Yeah. And I had put it, put it, yeah. And I, I put me a wire on it, you know, and did the same thing. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I kind of laid it down, you know, not even. And, and shucks, it's working. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it does work. Believe me. Yeah. Yeah, and it can work right now too. I, I tell you, man. That's the cool thing about it, though, is you tuned it by sliding the bottle. Yes. You know? Just, yeah. just basically just the same theory as a, down or, as a bridge, you know? Well, it, same as a bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that did it for me for, I don't know, four or five years. No kidding. I played it four or five years.